Hello everyone. Welcome to IDT Finale. This is CA Jigar Shah. Today, I am going to share one game-changing technique which will play a huge role when it comes to your success in IPCC and CA Final. But before going to that, let us assume that you, yes you, you are a national level swimming champion and next year you are going to compete in Olympics. Now you have got two ways to achieve that medal. Option number one, I give you best book on swimming and you just read it day in day out, ratify it and next year you dive into that pool. Option number two, I give you world class swimming pool with a very nice coach, a female perhaps, if that is in my budget. And then you practice day in day out, you sweat it out in swimming pool for one whole year and then you go into that swimming pool. Which is a better strategy? Obviously, the second one, it's common sense. But we don't apply the same common sense when it comes to our exams. Exam we have to write a paper, hai, but we don't practice the paper. Hi nahi karte. That game changing technique, my friends, is to practice writing papers. And I'm not talking about that one paper you write, one mock paper that you write. I'm talking about writing at least five papers in every subject. There are numerous benefits. Benefit number one and the most obvious one that your time management during exams becomes impeccable. You know exactly what is your strong point and what is the sum that you have to solve first. Benefit number two, your mind gets trained to solve sums in limited amount of time. Let us take for example a paper like costing. Abhi jabhi hum ghar mein solve karte hai, library mein solve karte hai. So we have our own time. Chai pita pita solve kar liya, discuss karte karte solve kar liya and all that. And we are able to manage almost all the sums. But during exam, jab bhi wo sum 15 minute mein solve karne ko aata hai na, tab real test hota hai. You have to train your mind to solve that sums as quickly as possible. It is not that you don't know how to solve that sum. It is just that you don't know how to solve that sum in 15 minutes. And this can be achieved only by practice, practice and practice. Benefit number three. It helps you in prioritizing your studies. Abhi jaise mein aapko bola ki papers likhna hai, wo bhi paanch paper ek subject ke. Dimaag mein fatak se ek sentence hai. अरे पढ़ाई खत्म नहीं होती पेपर कभी लिखेंगे फ्रेंड्स सीए फाइनल में कभी पढ़ाई खत्म नहीं होती बट व्हाट इफ आई से कि पेपर सॉल्विंग विल सेव योर टाइम हाउ व्हेन यू सॉल्व द पेपर्स यू नो व्हेन इज इट दैट यू हैव टू पुट मोर एफर्ट्स यू आर एबल टू सी दैट दिस आर द सेक्शंस और दिस आर द चैप्टर्स वेयर आई एम वीक एंड दिस आर द चैप्टर्स व्हिच आर माय स्ट्रांग पॉइंट्स and you don't have to put in too much efforts over there. This will be clear only when you practice solving papers. How can you minimize the study time that you invest in writing papers? During the day, there is always one time where your or efficiency is not at its best. Every student has that period of time. For me, it was post lunch. For someone, it might be late in the evening. It can be anything. You have to write papers during that time. What will happen is, you will utilize a very less amount of your study time for papers. And friends, paper solving is not enough. You have to evaluate it. You have to evaluate it like a worst examiner. Exam ke baad dukhi hoja se achha hai ki abhi dukhi ho jai taaki baad mein sukh mile. You will get aware about the shortcomings. I solved papers and I was able to attempt 95 marks on an average. I attribute this to my practice for writing papers. I urge each one of you to solve at least three, if not five, papers for each subject.